Okay, so we're here at the Madame Velodrome. I'm at the conclusion of the, the second day at the, uh, the uh, Milton World Cup. It's been a fabulous ride so far. You've got a couple of medals, the gold, the silver. Um, some fabulous performances. John uh, told Camp to see, uh, the president rather, of, of Cycling Canada. I mean, when you look back and you, when you see how exciting it is, when you look back, did you imagine it was going to be as good as it is? Yeah, I, mean, I knew our team would pull off a, technically a great event, but for me, it's kind of the indirect things. Not you know, not necessarily the medals are great to have here, and, and the, you know, the way the team is executing, the UCI is so happy with how things are going. It's the indirect things, the engagement we've had, the students we had here yesterday was phenomenal. What an atmosphere for a qualifying event. Usually, it's dead, and the athletes were just su surprised by it. The right. UCI was like in shock and they took they took note of it thought it was a fantastic exercise right and besides that we've actually had some great sponsorship engagement and some potential sponsors which is fantastic we had a group out here last night uh we're recording and them and their clients and uh you know i think it went a long ways to maybe moving the bar in terms of bringing some additional revenue and some new partners on board so that's a key piece of it yes and again, this morning, the uh, the founders actually went and raised a significant amount of dollars to help continue the operations of this track, to ensure that this track is going to reach out to the community, develop new athletes, and a grassroots program. So, not a bad 36 hours, I would say. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And all those fundamental parts, moving parts, and you know that we all don't see on a day-to-day -day basis. The athletes are out there, you know, going for medals, but behind the scenes. Uh, the team behind the team is also going for medals in a different way. Yeah. Um, I was I was noticing. Uh, I talked a little bit with Matthew Boucher, who's a, who's a, I think is one of your key people at making the event run, and just seeing how smooth it is. Every comment I've had has been positive. Uh, that's got to make everybody feel proud. Yeah, I know. There's no doubt. Uh, you know, our staff have gone above and beyond, and this actually technically falls into those people that know other duties. Right. It's it's really been phenomenal. Uh, Matthew himself, I have to say, has done a yo job he is the hero for cycling Canada and pulling off this event and the team behind him everybody has pulled sure. long hours super dedicated and we can't ask for more and you know and the volunteers we've got 120 volunteers here as well yes. so what you know fantastic from that perspective and just love how they're coming together the excitement of it everybody's behind it and we're showing the world that we can pull off a quality quality event yep and that's critical to us because we want to do this a few more years and yes. we've got other bigger goals as well that include potentially world championships and track, but also para and everything like that as well. So yep. it's critical that we show the UCI, the world, the community, our sponsors and our stakeholders that this is what we can do. Right, you're capable and you're ready to deliver and you can also deliver some medals on the side. Yeah, the, the medals like, you know, are the cream, but they're certainly the highlight. And you hear the crowd roar, you know, when Hugo is racing, when the women's team pursue one, right. that is unbelievable. You know, just put raises the hair on the back of your neck up. Yep. That's what I was going to ask you, how, how the feeling is, but, you know, it's kind of an affirmation of, uh, you know, just the success of the whole program. Well, I think, you know, to us, for me from Cycling Canada, that's our way to say thank you to the community. Let's go and win some medals, let's make this community engaged, and right. that's our thank you, and that's obviously what we want to do and what we're all about, but it's a thank you to the community. For sure. You know, I asked uh, a couple of the girls if they could hear the, the crowd cheering, and you know, out there, and they said, of course, you know, it, it's just so loud, and it's so encouraging to see them out there, and, and of course, yeah. uh, you brought a good team out here as well, so. Yeah, we, you know, and it's actually, you know, it's not necessarily our, the cream of our crop. We're using some development opportunities as well. So that's what's great to see is that we're having the depth, we're giving the opportunity to some, some up and coming riders to prove where they're at and bigger and better things from a high performance perspective. Uh, there's three more, it's a three year mandate. And uh, so yeah, this is year one, very successful so far. And uh, are there any uh, tips or any uh, bits of, uh, you know, you can share with us about what's, what, what's the plan for down the road? Well, I think, you know, we've got a debrief in terms of how we can improve this or you know, improve the event. Uh, I think from a technical perspective, there's just some minor tweaks that we need to do. To me, it's going to be the rest of the community engagement that we can really leverage this, turn this event, this asset, the facility, into a, a real phenomenal game changer, as we've always said. Right. Well, just thinking, John, way back to the days when, when you unveiled the, the, the plans and the, and the first shovels went in the dirt, and to come to today, it's really been a journey, but also a very awesome, uh, you know, sort of acclamation of, uh, or affirmation of all the success of the program. Yeah, I mean, it's certainly, today is a, you know, and this weekend is a celebration of what we've got, but it is only a piece of our journey, and we've got a much bigger vision, and we've got game, we've got a lot of things to change, and we want to bring more medals, not just our World Cups, right. World Championships, and of course the Olympics is a big piece of it. Yeah. We also want to 
know, win the hearts and minds and inspire this nation for cycling. There you go. It sounds like the work is just beginning. No, it's just beginning. It's a journey, but it's not work to us. This there you is go. passion. This is what we love to do. Congratulations on a successful uh, event so far and, and all the best going forward, John. Okay, thank you very much, Benjamin.